Let's go. It's your man, Mike Bowens, coming to you once again, live and direct. Listen, I got another powerful message for you. What's up, Motivation Nation? How you feeling out there? Listen, this message is entitled, Don't Share Your Jewels with Swine. Don't share your jewels with swine. What does that mean? You know, the Bible tells you that, you know, you got to be careful around who you surround yourself with, your inner circle, right? Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And when it, when it says don't share your jewels with swine, that means like people that don't have good ground, people that even no matter how much you tell them something, they don't listen, right? Some people, you know, have a hard head. They just can't receive information, especially from you. They Some people have to go through tough circumstances on their own for them to wisen up and say, dang, this person been trying to tell me that, or this person been trying to show me this, but I had to do it myself. Now, me, I've been taught and I've learned throughout the years to take the meat off the bone. Everything that somebody tells me may not be for me, but dang, I still will listen. I remember back in the days when I lived in the city and I would see winos on the street and they'll be talking. And most people just laugh at them. <laughs> That's a wino. He's a bum. But I would listen to certain things they say. And certain things they would say was, man, I wish I never start, started drinking. Because if I didn't start drinking, I'd be further ahead in life. And I caught that because they were talking out of their pain. And you know, it's nothing like that liquid courage to make you start saying how you really feel. And so I started to listen like, man, these people got regrets about them becoming alcoholics. So I knew within myself, dang. I better not start drinking alcohol because if I become an alcoholic, I'm going to be just like them, right? So sometimes when you see negative circumstances and you see negative situations, there's a lesson that you can learn from it if you constantly observe it and listening to the people in the situations that surround you because people speak to you and also things speak to you. You ever walk into a place and it's like really dirty and within your mind, you're like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Or you go to a nice area, a nice house, or a nice hotel, or a nice restaurant, and you, you walk inside, you're like, mm. you're not even saying nothing out of your mouth, but it's talking to you. You know it doesn't have a physical mouth that it could talk to you, but it's still talking to you and saying how nice it is, how beautiful it is, the smell that it's giving it off, the ambiance. And so everything has a voice, right? And so you want to make sure that you surround yourself with people and with things that's going to speak positivity into your life. Because if you are constantly around people who don't want to hear anything and is not sharpening you, you know, iron is supposed to sharpen iron. If you're around people that don't want to uh, go higher in life, then guess what's going to have an effect on you. And so I got tired of me personally sharing information with people who don't want to receive it who don't want to hear it. And then you see them running into a brick wall. You see it coming and they run into the wall, boom. Because they feel like, I got this, Mike. I know what I'm doing. You, you, you can't tell me nothing. And so you have to let people go, right? So I stopped saying things to people and started focusing on my journey and what I have to do. And then my life kept going up and up and up. And then those same people come back to me and say, man, since I've known you, you've been going up. Your life been getting better and better and better every year. And I just say, mm, you know, God is great. But what can I say to a person who don't want to listen? You can't share the wisdom that God has given you to everybody. Some people will receive it and some people will reject it. Right. And you will know those type of people when you cross their path. So as I'm saying this, some of you are thinking about them right now. Like, yeah, dang. I was trying to tell such and such this the other day, but they want to listen to me. And so you can't save everybody. You can't pull everybody, you know, out the, out the way, harm's way. Some people got to go through hard times for them to be humble enough to listen to somebody else. Now, when you take this into the spiritual context, some people's like, well, I'm listening to God, God only, but God also works through people. God speaks through people. Right? All throughout the scriptures, God used people to send his message to other people. But if people are so super hyper spiritual that they can't receive a message from someone else in human form that the spirit of God may be speaking through, they're going to miss out on their blessings every time. 
because they're looking for the answer to come a different way than how God is sending it to them. Yeah, God can speak directly to you. Yes, this is without a question. You get filled with the spirit. God through his spirit can speak to you. He can speak to you in dreams, right? But also God will use people to speak to you about your circumstances, about your future, about your destiny, about maybe how if you tweak this, right? What it is that you're trying to do, then you have better results than what it is that you're trying to do. But some people are anti-people. That's the problem. They really don't like nobody giving them instructions. That's the root of it. They don't want nobody to give them instructions. They don't want nobody to tell them, hey, what you're doing is a better way that you could be doing this. And so they want to go it alone. And so by doing so, they make their life a lot harder. There's so many books, right? Especially the Bible. You had Elijah, had Elisha, right? There's so many people in the Bible that you can see had mentors, had people in their life that they was able to speak into their life and they was able to bypass a lot of the problems that they would have had, right? Because they just listened to the information that was given to them. There's been many people in my life that told me, hey, Mike, what you're doing is great, but have you thought about doing it this way? And I said, man, I haven't thought about doing it that way. Let me research and see how I can do it that way. And when I did that, made a shift, my life went to a whole nother level. As opposed to, there have been times in my life in the past where people would try to tell me stuff and I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm doing it this way. I'm good. Don't even, don't even hear out what they have to say. I'm good. And by doing so, a lot of times I ran into brick walls because I wanted to do it my way. I didn't want to hear what nobody had to say. I had a preconceived notion that they was hating on me, that they was trying to slow me down, that they didn't have enough faith or they didn't have enough vision. And that's not always the case. Sometimes people are placed in your life, not because they hating on you, not because they are trying to slow you down, not because they don't have vision, but because God gave them an insight to something that at the particular moment you don't have, right? So you need people in your life that you trust enough that can say to you, listen, you're going down the wrong path. Or listen, this is the right pathway for you to go. Listen, this is a good business for you to get into. Look at your talents, they lined up with this business. Oh yeah, this is a good school that you should sign up to, or at least check it out and see if it works for you. You know, you need people in your life like that. If you got all yes men around you, and you're in the wrong situation because everybody's gonna tell you everything you wanna hear. I don't want nobody around me like that. I need people around me that's genuine, that care about me, and that's honest. Now, at the same time, I need people to have faith because I don't want you to speak doubt and negativity to me all the time, right? So it's a balance. But as for you, you can't always share your jewels with swine because sometimes it's a waste of time and it's frustrating telling the same people the same thing over and over and over again, but they keep making the same mistake over and over again. I hope this message encouraged somebody, inspired somebody to keep walking by faith and not by sight. This is your man, Mike Bowens. I'm signing off until next time. I'm saying, be blessed.